Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power now hosting on Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the DVD software, DVD Fab 9. We're going to use the DVD copy feature of it so we can take a DVD movie, which is a dual layer movie, and compress that, rip it, copy it into a single layer blank DVD. So how does this work? So if you go to the more info section, I got a link where you can go to the product page. You can download a, a trial version of the software, try it out download and install it and here's a brief product page of what you know different kind of things that this particular software feature can do also on the right hand slide uh, right hand side excuse me there is a really nice um, tip or tutorial on how to copy a DVD to a DVD so if you go to the more info section I got a link to we can see more of this particular tutorial but let me show you what I did so far so I got the program installed okay I inserted my movie, which is the Watchmen DVD, is a dual layer DVD. And let's say that you want to copy it from a dual layer to a single layer. So let's say, for example, you want to do the full disc. So you got copy mode, full disc. Here you have your output. So you can say DVD 9, which is dual layer. So you see the compression ratio is 100%. Or you could change it to, let's say, a DVD 5, which is a single layer uh, DVD. Now we see that the compression ratio is 56%. Let's say you're not satisfied with that kind of compression or that quality. What you could do is click on full disc. And let's say you just want to rip the main movie only. So now you do that. And you see that your compression ratio is now 68%. And it has actually jumped. And it actually shows you how much file size it has compressed from. From 6249 megabytes down to 4300 megabytes. Not bad. If you were to do DVD-9 hypothetically, here you can see is 100% compression ratio. So let's suppose that I want to do DVD-5. And let's say that um, where you want to save it to, you can save it as an ISO on your computer so you can burn it later at a later time. Or you can go ahead and select your own DVD or Blu-ray burner writer, and you can have that burnt to your uh, target drive at a later, uh, at the same time, once the movie has been ripped and copied to your hard drive. So what I'm going to do for this particular example is I'm going to select the ISO file. Here we see that my main movie is already selected here. If you were to click other titles, you can select other titles if you wish, but I'm not going to do that. And then I'm just going to click on Start. And then what's it going to do? It's going to start ripping the movie to my hard drive as an ISO file. And then later on, once that process has completed, I can insert a blank DVD disc, tell it to write from my ISO file to my blank DVD, and I'm good to go, and the movie's already compressed. Another thing you could also do when it says when all tasks are done, let's say you're not by your computer, you can tell it to exit the program, hibernate, or shut down the program. So that's a really nice way to, to take care of your computer when you're not physically there, and that's a really nice feature. Of course, if you go to the help section of the program, or you go online to the forums, or online to this tutorial, that's more text instructions on how this particular feature works from a DVD-9 to a DVD-5, a dual layer to a single layer. So that is today's video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave them a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.